Violent crime rose dramatically nationwide during the pandemic. We saw a lot of headlines about that. And many parts of life are all but back to normal uh, with the pandemic. Most of the, the worst of it behind us, I guess you could argue. But violent crime numbers still remain higher than they were pre pandemic. We're getting those numbers from a recent survey by the major cities chiefs, a police chiefs association. And New Orleans has unfortunately inherited the number one murder rate in the country. Joining us to talk about the challenges facing her city is New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell. Mayor Cantrell, thank you for being with us. Uh, and, and the survey also compared New Orleans homicide rate, which is up 40 percent to other major cities like Atlanta, uh, which is 20 percent, 11.5 percent for Chicago. What is your reaction to these numbers and what are you doing to try and bring those numbers down. So th thank you uh, very, very much for that. One very much focusing heavily on retention uh, as well as recruitment. You know, the staffing uh, numbers are staggering, as you know, not only in New Orleans but across the country, which pushed me and forced me to make every single roll call uh, within our police district, eight districts, uh, both 7 a.m., 7 p.m., listening to our officers. It really pushed me even further, I would say, to make sure that our platoon officers that are on the streets get the adequate support again on the street. I had to assign or reassign every uh, commissioned officer that is a non-patrol back to the streets of New Orleans, getting that added support. If my officers are safe, then the citizens of New Orleans can be safe. Pushing forward an even robust uh, retention package as well as a recruitment package uh, to get those numbers up as well. Uh, very much uh, focusing on technology, equipment, uh, vehicles, uh, looking at our Public Integrity Bureau, uh, where our officers were seeing some, and as it relates to infractions, kind of overreaching uh, policies there. So doing everything that we can in addition to that, making sure that programs are implemented and are effective as it relates to juveniles as well. Uh, but we're seeing a spike in domestic uh, crimes and violence, meaning uh, it's, it's less a random, but more people who know people, people hurting uh, people uh, in our city that spike absolutely uh, since COVID-19. Uh, Madam Mayor, you, it uh, sounds like a lot of what you think is the solution is to get more police on the streets. Um, but there are, uh, of course, we know historically so many more issues there in New Orleans. So New Orleans and Louisiana have for decades led the country uh, almost year after year in, when it comes to murder rate. But this still, a spike of 40 percent is a little alarming. What happened? Absolutely. So what happened, quite frankly, is just we had uh, zero uh, jury trials for over two years. Uh, we had an issue uh, with our district attorney um, uh, relaxing cases uh, or, or not even accepting cases. Uh, we had courts uh, closed, as I mentioned. But we also had the impact of COVID-19, uh, domestic violence clearly uh, on a rise. And, and we're just seeing it even spikes uh, in juvenile crime as well, but addressing it head on is what the city of New Orleans is doing. Well, Madam Mayor, I guess a lot of people would take issue with that. You mentioned the DA, you mentioned judges, you mentioned courts. Uh, you didn't mention the mayor, and some people are looking directly at you and to the point that they want to mm -hmm. even recall you. Uh, and even a recent poll, over 50 percent said yes, they support a recall, and they have now collected, uh, I guess, at least 20, 25 percent of the signatures needed to do so. So where does the responsibility fall with you? Because some people so are holding you responsible. Absolutely, and the responsibility is mine, and which one that I accept 100%. Police make the arrests, but we want to make sure that individuals are arrested, are held accountable, and, and off the streets of the city of New Orleans. And you know, just like me, that does not fall in the lap of the mayor, but it does fall in terms of being uh, collaborative, uh, being one that brings people together, and continues to focus on where the needs are the greatest, and putting resources where they need to be placed most. Obviously, you know your city is a tourism mecca. People come there for big events, for big festivals throughout the year. When you see the crime statistics as they are, what do you tell people who may be concerned for their safety, maybe reconsidering a different destination for their plans because of what the crime situation is there right now on the ground? What do you say to the people who would like to visit your city but might not feel safe going? 
Well, what I will say is that visitors are returning to the city of New Orleans in droves. Again, hosted major national events with no incidents at all. What I will say is that right now on the ground in the city of New Orleans, uh, with a redeployment strategy that's gaining results every single day, that our city is safer than it's been in a long time. And more importantly than that, we're seeing the results and we're seeing visitors on the streets of New Orleans today and every day since, I would say, since we've been open back up, leading the nation in combating COVID-19. All right. Well, Madam Mayor, we are absolutely rooting for New Orleans. <laughs> we all love New Orleans. We love being on the streets hey. of New Orleans, all right? <laughs> Never, never bet against the city of New Orleans. And we know better than to do that. Uh, Madam <laughs> Mayor, thank you for spending some time with us. Uh, look, these issues, uh, look, uh, that's uh, historic in nature and problems not going to go away overnight. They didn't come overnight. So we appreciate you being here and we absolutely look forward to getting back down there. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.